In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, this feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, let us acknowledge our sins. Pray ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, and be further be your effect of each day, the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea, from Judea were instructing the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot with your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord, according to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine. 
He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own, and to, unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, back in the year 2000, a crowd of well over half a million people gathered in Fatima there in Portugal, and it was May 13th. And they were there for the beatification of Francisco and Jacinta, two of the three children the Blessed Virgin Mary had appeared to. In honor of the beatification, thousands of young children were dressed up in shepherd's clothing, like that of Francisco, Jacinta, and their sister Lucia. In the homily for that day, Pope St. John Paul II had this to say to the children. Dear boys and girls, I see so many of you dressed up like Francisco and Jacinta. You all look very nice. But in a little while, or tomorrow, you will take off these clothes. The little shepherds will disappear. They should not disappear, should they? Our Lady needs you all to console Jesus, who is sad because of the bad things done to him. He needs your prayers and your sacrifices for sinners. Prayers and sacrifices. Those simple words John Paul II gives us a very great challenge, not just those children back then, for us today. It's this, how well do we express to others that we are disciples of Jesus Christ every day? How are we doing in those two great ways of giving time to the Lord and to others, areas of prayer and sacrifice? Our response to this challenge can be guided and sustained by what we know of Our Lady of Fatima and what she has to say to us. So here are two ways to help us become great and faithful disciples of our Lord. First is devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. As you all know, Mary once said in response to the angel Gabriel, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may be done to me according to your word. What Our Lady is expressing there is an attitude of the heart. You know, as Pope Benedict once taught, in biblical language, the heart is the center of human life, the point where reason, will, temperament, sensitivity all come together. So Mary is saying yes with her reason, with her will, with her emotions, with her whole being. So for our devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, it's our way of saying yes as well. Yes to an attitude that our heart is wide open and that will clear a path, a direct pathway to our Lord Jesus Christ. But to develop such an attitude of heart, quite frankly, is the work of a lifetime. So we need a lot of support and encouragement to stay on track and to keep going. And that's where the second aspect of the message of Fatima can be so helpful. The recitation of the Rosary. One of the great things about the Rosary, it can be at one hand the means of going deep to an encounter of our Lord and God. The Rosary can be wonderful to go into spiritual depths. At the same time, especially when we're being overwhelmed, the Rosary can be so simple, beautifully simple. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Beautiful, but simple. The Grace One, who happens to be our mother, is always with our Lord, and she shows us how to do the same. You know, the very fact that we're making time to pray the Rosary, or even just to pray in general, is of great value to Mary and, of course, to her son. In prayer, especially when we're praying for others, 
We are participating in that prayer and sacrifice that Pope St. John Paul II has talked about. So devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, so central to the message of Fatima, can begin in our hearts. And with the recitation of the rosary can become very powerful. As said, Pope Benedict once said, the heart open to God is stronger than any guns or weapons of any kind. And from this open heart, we can all utilize the great spiritual weapon that is the rosary to bring about so much good in this broken world of ours. So never underestimate the power of the rosary. For through it, Our Lady takes us directly to her son so he can then use us as he once used those three shepherd children to bring the message, the words this broken world of ours needs to hear. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Placing our trust in the God's hands, let's come before it now with our prayers and intercessions. That all members of the church may be strengthened, especially during these times of trial, in holiness and truth, and walk in the full confidence of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, that through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God, that Jesus will bless them and reward them for their sacrifice and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our RCIA students and those others who are awaiting their sacrament that God will greatly bless them for their patience and perseverance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the lonely, and those who are suffering, those who have been forgotten, that they will know and receive the security and love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our men and women who are considering the call to enter into religious life, that God will give them the peace and the clarity they need to follow God's will in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to have our hearts become free of worry, fear, and doubt, and instead be confident that Jesus will guide all of us to our heavenly home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for the repose of the souls of Louis Montoya and Helen and Ross Ortiz, and for a special intention on behalf of Christopher Cochran and her family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please take a moment to bow your heads and in silence ask God for whatever you need. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in the intercession of related Fatima, may all of us grow in all your gifts and virtues, but especially those of faith, hope, and love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Due to the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual children. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. 
No petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to trust. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. Especially we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you've done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. We look, look on the holiness of your handmaid. You gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, Rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we are by. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be prayer, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, Say, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of giving thanks to you, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come to we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and Paul the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, and the whole of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, and pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
And now for our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally. Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech your Lord your mercy. That we here rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mysteries of our redemption. Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the final blessing, I want you guys to notice something. Every time you put flowers out, they always bloom on the feast day of Our Lady. Okay, because she's I have something to do with that, don't you think? Okay, that's super, super cool. The reason why I bring that up is because Mary, Joseph, the saints, of course, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those little blessings are all throughout the day. Look for those gems. Okay, we're not without. God is here to bless us in all kinds of ways. Look for them today. So the Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your prayer.